That's a great question. I think it really depended on uh, your socioeconomic status of the day. How much did you have to lose or how much did you have to gain uh, by accepting or denying Jesus' message? The religious leaders of the day had a lot to lose. They got fat, wealthy, and rich um, off of um, the systems that were set up in place. The marginalized of society had a lot to gain. That's why these crowds started growing. You know, if you were a down and outer, uh, if you were a sinner, if you were marginalized in any way, if you were hopeless in, in any way, uh, you, were, you were drawn. You were drawn to the message of the gospel. It's the same way today. I mean, it's the exact same way today. The, the question is, how much do we recognize our need? And I guess for me now and for me then, it's still the same question. It's hard to kind of put yourself in first century. I don't know what I w would have been doing for a living or what my family would have been like, but um, it really comes down to how much are you aware of your need for a Savior? First century, same as today. Um, if we have more to lose than we have to gain, we'll deny Him. If we have more to gain than we have to lose, we'll follow Him.